What's up you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna learn a shot in the dark from Sob Rock by John Mayer. I put a little chorus on the amp just to give it a little 80s flavor. Anyway, I think you guys will dig it. If you haven't yet, I appreciate you subscribing here to my Marty Music YouTube channel. Thank you so much for that. All right, let's do it. All right, this song is in D major. So if you take this D major bar chord with the A shape, that's the core of the song. Not too different than this one. Same thing, but for those other triads he's using, I think the easiest way is to go. So that's coming from that, but we're just playing the triad, which would be the seventh fret D, G, B. And then you add a ring finger to the ninth fret of the D string and your middle finger uh, to the eighth fret B string. I mean, it looks like an E minor seven, but really it's a G major chord coming from the C major shape. As if the index finger was a bar chord and that was the C, but we're not worrying about the A string, we're just playing that. So we can move it over here. And what you get is with that D major and then the G major, you have really nice movement. He uses this on a uh, last train last train home as well. So D, G, D, rest, G, D. Then I'm going to a different triad. We're gonna play A major. And so basically I'm playing like an F looking shape there. So seventh fret, sixth fret, fifth fret. And then a whole step down to G. All right, so the next change, I'm gonna just talk about the structure of it first because there's some definitely some pretty extensions and voicings uh, going on, um, but the basic form, G, A major, so G major to A major, to B minor, again. It's really just G, just another A to D. But you can add the nine. Which uh, I, I have seen him do. So you'd have root, perfect fifth there on the fifth fret, and perfect fifth. And then hopping over to the second fret G string. The cool thing is that D is open too. And then I like these little, uh, little double stops. So the easiest one would to be just third fret and second fret on the G. He, he'll stretch his pinky out there for a voicing, but you get that one. And then middle finger to the A and then ring finger on that um, sixth fret G. And then up to B minor, they're both on, so seventh fret on the E and seventh fret on the G. So. Chorus lyric. And so you can get that lick in there. I don't know if they're all separate. Like I said, there's multi-tracks going on, but you can go and then grab that G chord again. 
So I'm going. So just a G with that nine in there. And because G and A, for you're just going. I mean, I don't know if he's doing that. It just sounds nice with the lyrics there. So the G. And then I am hammering from the second to the third on the B, grabbing that fifth fret, and then I'm able to hop over to that G again. Bridge chords, uh, the structure, not the voicings, it would be D, G, however you want to play G, you know, John Mayerway, B minor, you know that, to A, and a D, to G. B minor to A. And if you want to do some of those kind of spread voicings, you could do G, which is just like a power chord. And with the major third, I'm not barring, I'm going. And then, so that'd be G. So D, you could do root fifth, and then the third here, not barred. And then B minor, just a few different ways. You do just the two note spread voicing. Uh, The lead phrase is over that bridge. Sliding from seven to 10 on the B. And then from 10 to 12. So then two to four slide on the G. And then seventh fret B. And then five, seven, five, slide. So that's the first half of the phrase. Then it starts again. So the second half of the phrase starts the same way. Up to that 12, but then 15 to 12. And then 10 to five. There is a little, oh, there's also a, another kind of more pentatonic, major pentatonic lick right after the, those long lines. Let me show you that. So that phrase is in that major pentatonic. So I'm just hammering from seven to nine on the D and going to that D note, the root, on the seventh fret G. Back to nine on the D. Slide it up a whole step, down to four. And then a two to four slide.
So there's a little plucky double stop going on, and you can see the, um, you know, the part of the A chord and the part of the G chord, but just the D and G strings. So seventh fret, sixth fret, lots of palm muting. That's over. The shot in the dark keeps repeating. G, A, D, G, A, D. So just look for that little piece as well and uh, keep having fun with it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. Thank you again for the continued support. Feel free to request stuff in the comments below. And while you're down there, I appreciate you liking the video and subscribing here to the Marty Music YouTube channel. Thanks again, we'll see you later.